Hey guys, so one thing that I didn't realize when I reviewed this game Swapfire back in 2017 was that it actually also has a 5 player commentary mode. So how that works is a 5th player can have the Wii U gamepad and it'll show a separate screen of the whole match going on and they can just do their whole commentary by watching what's on the gamepad screen. So to demonstrate that, I've got two very colorful characters to do commentaries on two matches here. So take a look. Hello everyone, Typical Football Commentator here along with Salem the Cat to do some commentary on Swapfire. We're going to commentate two games through here today, aren't we Salem? Ooh, that's right Mr. Commentator, let's get on to this. Alright, so we're going to start with Swalker here, and a lovely play on words for the game of soccer, but of course with these fancy ray guns that we have to get everybody teleported. Alright, and here comes the kickoff now, and oh, everybody just go on and teleporting everybody else. That was kind of a slightly embarrassing way to start this game. Oh, but the yellow player already scored a goal, and everybody's back to swapping places with each other all the time. Honestly, football commentator, this is more exciting than real soccer, or real football for that matter. Goal! For last time, Salem, you are not a Mexican soccer commentator. Ooh, I can dream, can't I? Well, anyways, now I've got the ball back into play, and everyone's just swapping places with each other again. Just seem to have a knack for that in this game. Well, looks like Blue got his chance to score. Now we got a tie game, except Red One is the only one left out. Well, poor him. Boo hoo. And then it comes in handy that our camera operator can just move all about here and not get affected by any of these little ray guns over here. I'm just interested in who's gonna win this game. And for that matter, is Red gonna score anything? He's the only one left out. I kind of feel bad for him. No, I don't. Sucks to be him. That's what happens. That's a sport. <laughs> oh, looks like he might score. Nope. I spoke too soon. He's still not getting it. Hey, Salem, why is our camera off just randomly zooming in on the blue player? I think he's just messing around with the controls. This is kind of new to him. Why do we hire him then? He's the producer's son. Oh, that'll explain it. Go! I said... Oh, I know, I knew. Well, it looks like Red finally scored a goal. Whoa, and now Yellow has scored a goal. Okay, we got ourselves a game here, but there's time enough for one more goal. See if anybody's gonna make it. We got ten. Nine. Ooh, it's so exciting, it's so exciting. Is anybody going to make a final score? Or is Yellow gonna be the victor? No, I think it's pretty safe to say who the victor is, and it is now official! The yellow player has taken this game, even though he has won the accolade for worst aim. Hey, that rhymes! No, I didn't mean to. Well, what do you say we move on to our schadenfreude mode? Schadenfreude? Oh yes, by which I mean the drop zone! Well, what do you mean by schadenfreude? You know, when you witness others having misfortune and makes you feel better about yourself. Ooh, I see, because you're watching everyone fall to the depths here. Neat! Yeah, exactly, just like Yellow down there was already taking the plunge. I think he made some very poor calculations over here. He probably got too cocky from his last victory. Oh, and there goes two more victims. Bye bye! Oh, well, looks like they have the concept right, but they're just doing poor execution. And there goes the red one again. Uh, he's really not getting this right. He's gonna end up losing big time over here. Well, this is a very risky game. It's like playing the lottery. Either you win a million dollars or you end up falling to your doom. Uh, I think we're talking about two different things. But let's see if anyone can actually score in this game. Wait, there goes red and yellow and green? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Three of them at once all falling down. Well, these people just really don't know how to play this game, do they? No, I think they do know at least part of the way, but they just seem so amateurish about it. Well, let's see if anyone can score now. I think blue's gonna end up winning just by default. And there goes green again, trying his failed plan. Oh, see? Blue scored a point. Yeah, but how long is that gonna last at this rate? Oh, and just like that, it's gone. Easy come, easy go. Also, why is our camera operator getting so close to the action here? Well, I mean, it's usually their job to get as close to the action as possible, but this is very disorienting. Why is the cameraman just moving all over the place? Hey, camera guy, let's zoom back. I want to see everybody get humiliated here. Look at Red. He's 500 points down. 500 points in the negative. Either all these players are really good at this game, or they all really suck. Are all four of these players AI bots? Oh, they must be, because look, there they go again. The same three people just falling down. Look at the blue guy. Even he's confused. I think you're right. He is going to win by default. Oh, and there goes Yellow again. Not a moment later. What, the stock market crash? Because I'm seeing a lot of jumping and no results. No, 
look at that, even blue has fallen, even he's in the negative now. And look at red, he's at negative 600. No, I think yellow is actually racing to see who gets the least amount of points. And with that, the game comes to a close, and yikes, what a humiliating showing that was. But from all of us here at the Nintendo Reviewer Channel, I'm Generic Football Commentator, and I'm Salem the Cat. Bye-bye! Special thanks goes to Jeremy from Midnight Status for sending me the equipment and software I needed to record the gamepad footage you saw. Now, the reason I put this video together is to raise interest in the sequel that Midnight Status is making for the Switch. It's called Swapfire Season 2. Now, they've done a successful Kickstarter, they know what they want to do for the sequel. The only problem is, for some reason, Nintendo hasn't yet sent them a Switch dev kit. Even though they've been working on it, they can't yet put all the finishing touches they need to for it to actually run on the Switch yet. Why is Nintendo taking so long? I don't know, but I encourage all you guys to download this game for the Wii U eShop and play it. They actually reduced their starting price down to $10, but right now, in an effort to get more people interested in this IP, they've put this game on sale for $1. So again, I encourage all of you to download it. It's really cheap right now, see how unique of a local multiplayer game it is, and see how much potential there is for the sequel to be even bigger and better. This is the Nintendo Reviewer signing off, see you in the next video.